ten thousand hour rules. Okay, well, there's a, there's this idea in uh, you know in um, in um, mastery that you have to achieve ten thousand hours of something. So if you do piano for ten thousand hours, you'll you'll reach mastery. If you do jujitsu for ten thousand hours, you'll reach mastery. If you do, I don't know, if you study. Um, if you study, I don't know, computers for 10,000 hours, you become a master of computers. I think 10,000 hours is was just used in a, as an expression. I don't think he, whoever came up with that, I don't think it meant a literal 10,000 hours. Why do I say that? Well, one, try to follow somebody. Let's say you're doing a scientific study. Try to follow someone for 10,000 hours. You would need massive amounts of, of resources. Okay, It would take you 15 years, 10 to 15 years to make sure that that person practiced the piano literally for 10,000 hours, okay? You'd have to like, uh, it would be complicated. I think it's just a, an expression. Now, uh, 10,000 hours is an is a, is a incredible amount of hours. Now, generally, I've seen many people go from white belt to black belt. I've seen many people go from, you know, novice level of wrestling to an experienced level of wrestling, a novice level of rest, uh, MMA to experienced level of MMA, world-class level of MMA. And yeah, I would say it takes about 10 years to really reach your peak. Okay, but there are many exceptions to that. Okay, um, don't hold me to um, that specific formula. There are many exceptions to that. Some people do it in five. Some people do it in 12. Some people uh, reach their peak in 10 and stay for 10 more years at their peak. So they have like a 10 years, like normally your peak's like one or two years, three years. Some people keep it going for 10 years, 15 years. They're, they're just as good as they used to be. So um, there are many, there are many uh, uh, ways the cookie can crumble. So, um, in my opinion, look, do as many hours as you can and assess at periodically every three, four months, assess, are you getting better? Are you not getting better? And just take it from there. Maybe you're doing too many hours. Maybe you're doing too little hours. You know, maybe it's always a struggle between quantity and quality. The more I do, the lower the quality might dip, the, the quality might dip. And if the quality dips, that could be a problem. Okay, so let me give you guys a for instance. Okay, let's give, let's do a for instance. I want to make this crystal clear because uh, I don't want to confuse my friend. He really asked a nice question. Okay, let's say for instance, I want to be the best three-point shot guy in the world. I want to, I'm want i on the basketball court. Uh, guys, I know nothing about basketball, so uh, bear with me here. If I say anything inaccurate, just uh, please correct me. I want to be the best three-point shot in the world. Okay, and now if you give me 10 attempts, I on average score five, five attempts. So five, I, I sink five baskets and I miss five. So if you give me 100 shots, I'm going to sink 15 to the net and 50 are going to bounce off. Okay, that's my current um, ability as a three-point uh, shoot shooter. All right. Now... I'm practicing my three-point shot every single day. How many times should I shoot? How many times should I practice my shot? Anybody have an answer to that? Should I shoot a thousand baskets? Should I shoot two thousand baskets? Should I shoot five thousand baskets? Should I do it till my arm falls off? Should I do it till you know, uh, I can't stand anymore. Is that going to make me any better? What's the optimal amount of shots? Over 9,000, over 10 times. Well, here's here's my answer to you, okay? I'm going to shoot baskets until I'm starting to sink 4 out of 10. I'm getting worse. I'm going to stop. Because I've reached a level of, of quantity now the quantity I, I'm shooting is so high that it's affecting my quality. I'm stopping because quality is so important to me that I'm going to stop. I bet you the next day I'm going to be sinking six out of 10 because of my practice the day before. The next day I've refreshed. I've slept. I've recovered. I'm probably going to sink six out of 10. Now I might shoot a hundred baskets, get 60 of them in. And then ne the next set of 10, I fell down to five. And the set after that, I'm at five again. And the set after that, I'm at five. And now I'm noticing a trend that I'm at five. Quality has dipped. Stop the workout. Stop it. The quantity now has affected the quality. We have to stop. We cannot afford to go with any more volume. We cannot create any more. Uh, we cannot 
afford to shoot anymore. Now, the number of shots might be very different from one, from one player to another. That's why the coach has to assess, hey, you're getting sloppy. Your performance has dipped. The amount of training now needs to be cut off. We need to go through a recovery phase, come back the next day or 48 hours later and start again. And now we have a new standard of quality. We have a new standard of quality. And once that standard of quality is compromised, we need to stop the training. And we need to continue this upward trend. We need to continue this upward trend. So eventually I'm gonna get you to eight out of 10 baskets. I give you 10 shots, you get eight. I give you 100 shots, you're getting 80. Once you dip from 80% to 70%, I'm stopping the workout. And we're gonna continue this trend. And eventually you're gonna plateau. You're gonna plateau to like, let's say, I don't know, 8.7 baskets out of 10. Let's be generous here, okay? Let's say you have 100 shots, you got 87 of them in, you're getting better. Now you're gonna start plateau. You're gonna start to plateau because getting better now is gonna take a lot more effort, a lot more imagination, a lot more creativity to break through a plateau. So let's say you're in the gym, let's make it uh, more sensible to jujitsu. Okay, let's make it jujitsu now. Um, you're rolling and you're doing really well. You, I have to eyeball it, okay? I have to eyeball it. I have to say, look, he's doing really well. He's rolling well. He's hitting the moves. Uh, he's uh, he's a purple belt. He's passing the blue belts. He's subbing them. He's going with the other purple belts now. He's doing really well. He's uh, hitting his sequences. He's scoring sweeps. After about three, four rounds, now he's starting to slow down. He's starting to get his back taken. Well, a smart choice now would be take a break. Why? Quality has taken a hit. I'm going to take a break. Maybe I take a round off, two rounds off, and jump back in. But when quality dips, the workout is over, guys. Why? Because you're just practicing being sloppy. You're just practicing being bad. You're just polluting your firing sequences. You are polluting your coordination. So let's say, for instance, we have a stubborn basketball player, and he's on the, he's on the court, and he's shooting baskets, and he shoots 5 out of 10. And after 100 baskets, he hit 50. And the next batch of hundreds, he hit 40. And he's like, you know what? I'm so tough. I'm so mentally strong. I'm going to keep shooting baskets until my arm falls off. Okay. And then he starts shooting more baskets. And after 500 baskets, he's hitting 30%. He's hitting 30 out of 100. He's practicing being bad. Let's say he's super stubborn. He goes to the next 100 batch. And his next 100, he drops to 25 out of 100. He's scoring 50% less than before. Okay, he's scoring half the baskets. He scored a lot, the first set of 100. He's getting progressively worse. Why? Fatigue, his nervous system is tired. Uh, his attention span, his focus is, is dipping. Uh, you know, he, he's not following instruction anymore. He's just too tired. The guy needs to go into recovery. But he's super stubborn and he thinks that doing more is always better. Okay, he keeps shooting till he's getting five out of 100 baskets, excuse me, five out of 10 shots in. Five out of 10, uh, excuse me, not five out of 10, five out of 100, he's at 5%. The guy's really like, he's just sloppy now. And the next day he rests and comes back and he's still tired from that workout because he pushed himself so hard. So he needs 72 hours to recover. And then he comes back and he starts shooting baskets again. I bet you he'll be at like a 5.2, 5.5. He'll be really low. But if he keeps up that mentality for a long time, he's going to have shoulder problems. He's going to have wrist problems. He's going to have confidence problems. Why? Because he's so used to missing. So when he comes up on the line at that moment, he's like, you know what? I have a recording of so many. I've missed so many baskets. His confidence is going to be shot. Whereas me, I only play when I'm winning and then I stop. I'm used to putting the ball in the net. I'm used to passing the guard. I'm used to slipping your punches. I'm used to being successful. My brain is wired for being successful. Once I'm not being successful anymore, it's because I've, I've exhausted the system and that's it. The workout is over. Once you get sloppy, stop. We're not practicing no more. We're not teaching the brain. Because look, the, the brain will wire itself to whatever you want. You are, as Aristotle said, you are what you repeatedly do. If you repeatedly miss baskets, guess what? When the moment comes, you're going to miss that basket. I'm not going to miss any baskets. If I'm uh, missing shots because of fatigue and I've worn out my body, the answer is rest and recovery. If it's a technical issue, well, and then I got to go see a subject matter expert who's going to tell me, look, your jump shot's not going in. 
because maybe you have the incorrect arc or whatnot. Guys, I don't know anything about the techniques of uh, three-point shots, but I'm assuming there are many details and there are many styles. I'm assuming there are many details and styles. And there's a technical issue and you need to rehearse that technical, um, you need to repair that technical issue and then rehearse the, the correct response, the correct um, mechanical uh, method of shooting. But you can only re you can only rehearse it as long as it's high quality. Okay, so there's always a balance between quality and quantity. I want as much quality, excuse me, as much quantity as I can get. But once this level of quantity starts to affect my quality, the workout is over. All right, so I hope that makes it clear.